Alright guys, welcome back. And this is your first time here. I'm the Northwest Fisherman Chris. And today we got something kind of super excited. Well, I'm really excited about it. This is the new garage sale sack uh, from Six Sense. This is the one for 2023. And we're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Let's see what's in it. It's kind of neat because these, these bags are different. It's not the normal velvet bag if you've ever had a shipment from Six Sack before. Or Six Cents before. Alright, there's going to be tons of stuff in here. So, first things first. We have a curve. It's the finesse, 55 millimeters, 3 eighths of an ounce. The color on this guy right here is chartreuse spank. Yep, chartreuse spank. So it's going to be a little 3 eighths, 55 millimeter long square bill here. This little guy is going to dive one to three feet. I'm not even going to keep the garbage on the table. It's, it's going to go right there for now. So, starting out, we got this nice bronze colored back here, blue stripe, lateral line across there, hinting into the chartreuse. We got a nice black spot right there, back into the chartreuse, and finishing with a pearl belly. This little guy is also equipped with EWG style treble hooks, which are fantastic. This, this is going to be a really good bait, especially come spring. You could even use this right now, now that it's winter. So listen to this thing. That's nice. That's a nice rattle. Super solid little finesse square bill. I like it. We're also going to kind of go a little bit quicker through all these baits than I normally do because there's a lot here. All right. Next up is the Vega Frog. This guy is black. It's just black. Um, good old top water. I think this is the popping one. Let's see. Yep. It's got a little beveled mouth here, so it splashes a little bit of water when you use it. One thing that's nice about the Vega Frogs is the bodies. They're not too stiff, but they're not too soft. Um, let's get some more light on this. Not that it really helps. It's just black with red eyes. Um, but the bodies of these are pretty nice because they're not too stiff and they're not too soft. This isn't a frog that I would necessarily say that would have to be boiled. And the hook points, unlike traditional frogs, how well you're going to be able to see it, they actually point towards each other. Kind of following along that idea of EWG style baits, or EWG style hooks, because these hooks, let's see if I can get this in front of this. Yeah, there we go. Well, spot where you guys can see it. So they are, in fact, pointing towards each other, which I think it would be great to help with hookups. <clears throat> and the color on that guy is just straight black. Also, to remind you, this garage sale sack is only $100. I bought it on Black Friday, like 20% off. So it was kind of one of those deals I couldn't really pass up on. What is this? Okay, we're just going to open it and see what it is. <clears throat> okay, so this is actually pretty nice. Um, this is a Six Sense Winter Fleece Mask. Actually, I'm kind of happy that they actually put some of their like smaller apparel stuff inside here. So this is simply to just keep you warm when you're out there. Pulls up around your head. Your face is going to go here. Pull this up over your nose and stay a little warm. Tuck it up underneath your hat. I like this. I'm actually I'm actually going fishing tomorrow morning and it's supposed to be like 26 degrees. So I'm going to give this a go and we're going to see how I like it and how well it actually works. It's super soft on the inside, which is nice. I'm excited. All right, next up, we've got a... Crush Flat 75X, so this is a 75 millimeter bait, 5 eighths of an ounce, and it dives 2 to 5 feet. The color on this guy here is Jungle Rose. So you've got a nice bright blue back there, 
hinting down into a lighter orange and into that super bright orange there on the sides. I think this light's hurting more than it's helping. There we go. And then back around the bottom, you've got that bright orange belly back. Nice little blue spots around the eyes to make them look a little bit larger. And being a flat sided square bill, this thing's not going to have like the big wobble like a normal square bill will because of those flat sides. That's why they call it a flat side. Kind of redundantly obvious, but for those of you that don't know, flat sides, tighter wobble, better for super clear water and pressured fish versus a regular wobbly or like regular body crankbait. EWG style treble hooks, of course. Let's give there a let's give it a listen. Nice subtle rattle to match that flat side. Because you don't when you're fishing something that's gotta be a little bit more subtle, you don't want it to just be too much. So let's set that over here. Move this stuff up. Alright, so we got a Snatch 70X. This is a lipless crank. This is an American Shad, and it's 5 eighths of an ounce long. Let's get this guy out here. This has got a lot of complex color going on. So you've got like a green back towards the front. You've got purple towards the back. You've got gold. So you've got gold kind of on that ladder, or the lateral line would be. And out front, you've got that ghosted purple over the front. It's got nice chrome sides, and it's kind of got like a green pearl belly going on there. Um, once again, those EWG style treble hooks. I think I'm not, this is probably the last one I talk about the treble hooks, unless they're different. Um, let's give this guy a listen. Sweet traditional style for a lip, or for a um, lipless crankbait. And that nice rattle trap sound. This is a high, highly reflective bait, and I like it. I like it a lot. This is definitely one that I think I'm going to take with me tomorrow. Because you can use lipless in so many ways, because they're sinking bait, and they have, they're just, they're great, especially around the winter. You can fish them as deep as you want, or as shallow as you want. All right, next up, we have a Dogma 100. So this is 100 millimeters long. This is a, I believe the Dogma is a walking bait. Yeah, walking bait. This guy's half of an ounce. It's top water. And the color on this is Baby Shad. The colors on this are pretty complicated. This thing is dusty. Um, kind of going to, with a green like scale pattern on the back there, then alternating between like a magenta and a pearl blue on the back. Roll it around back towards the belly, and it is all pearl white. Those of you fishing not super clear water, you can almost just pretty much count this as just a white bait. Uh, especially with it being topwater, all the bass are going to see is pretty much this and a little bit of that side roll. This is pretty sweet. Let's give this guy a listen. It's good sound for a walking bait. It's not too much, it's not too many BBs, but it's not like a single knock. One thing to note, that this does not have EWG style treble hooks, but it still has those super sharp Black nickel hooks that six cents puts on everything. Okay, Let's grab the next one. Oh, this is super sweet. So this is the flat finesse F4. This one's really cool. So this is a flat side square bill. It's two and a half inches long. It's half of an ounce and it dives four to six feet. But what makes this special, besides the color, and this is black magic. Yep, black magic is it's got a um, circuit board lip that changes the sound when it contacts things. A lot of square bills nowadays are switching to that. So the Black Magic itself, the color on this is a, it's just 
it's matte black. Um, it's got some blue lateral line, or not lateral, but it's got some blue streaks down the side to break it up a little bit. And on the belly, you've got kind of like this weird, like, I don't even know what I want to call that. It's like a um, pea soup green with a little bit of orange right here on the front. This is a fantastic color. This is a great bait. I really like the Finesse F4. Um, I don't actually, I, I honestly can't say if this the board lip makes a difference, but I like it. I like it a lot, and this is a color I don't have, and this makes me very, very happy. Um, let's see. Oh, here's another hard bait. I'm going to try to reach in here and do all the hard baits at the same time. <coughs> this is a Crush 50S. The S means silent. 50 means it's 60 millimeters long. Don't know. I didn't name it. It's 3 eighths of an ounce, and it dives 2 to four or two to 5 feet. The color on this is Baby Luga. This is a fantastic color on this. Because it's just... It's such a good color. I... All the bluegill colors, I've I've had a lot of luck with them. Um, you've got like a deep emerald back here, and then you go into that more of an uh, a light olive color on the sides. You've got your uh, vertical stripes going down the sides. You got your little black spot for the ear on the bluegill. You got a nice little pearl belly with a little red spot there on the front. This this is going to be a killer, and it's silent. No sound. No sound at all. I'm I'm actually super pumped about this because I almost bought this on Black Friday, but I believe it was sold out. Um, oops, another hard bait. Provoke 106. I'm so glad they put one of these in here. Um, this is the Herring Shad. This is the 106X. This is 106 millimeters of pure jerkbait fury. It's half of an ounce, and this one is slow floating and suspending. So right now, because it is super duper cold outside, this is a slow float. Absolutely a slow float. Um, you've got a nice, oh, I'd call that like a gray purple back, going into a like a yellowish ladder line, just like a herring shad. Um, white sides, white belly, little bit of peach right up there by the bill. This is just a fantastic bait. And let's let's give it a listen. I like that. I like that a lot. Good old Provoke 106. And it's a color I don't have yet, which makes me even happier. With the garage sale sacks, you're just kind of it's kind of just a lot of stuff in a bag. And there's really no rhyme or reason to what's in here. Um there's even exclusive colors in here. So let's keep moving on. Oh, got another heart bait. Crush 100X. This is 68 millimeters long, 5 eighths of an ounce, and it dives, oh, I want to say 2 to 5 feet. There it is. This is Bluegill Fire. And this is also another great bluegill pattern. Really, really good bluegill pattern. So you've got kind of that emerald dark color up there towards the back. The front's a little bit more blue. Then you get into those vertical stripes down the sides. Got the little black ear there, a little black on the face. Moving down, you got gold down the sides. It's kind of like a, it's like a mustard gold, okay? And then you've got a nice burnt copper on the belly. This, this is another fantastic square bill. Let's give it a listen. It's not too much, but it's not too little. Um, this is this is a great bait, especially right now. Well, maybe not especially right now, because you're gonna have to. The easiest way to fish your crankbaits right now is going to be just burn it, stop, burn it, stop, burn it, stop, or just barely crawl it. It's you're gonna have to just kind of feel it out this time of year. All right. Ooh, Crush 50S and Silent, and this is not Black Magic, this is the other black color, this is the Black and Blue Craw, so this is a 60 millimeter bait once again, 3 eighths of an ounce, dives 
two to five feet. Two to five feet? Yeah, two to five feet. So this one is not a matte black color. It's all black on the top. It's got a little blue towards the front. Of course, you've got your blue crop pattern in there. Then you get down here lower, you get into a blue pearl before you get to that bluish white pearl, white pearl belly. That's great. And once again, this is a silent one. Let's go ahead and throw the Finesse F4, that black magic, side by side. So you can really see, oh, I did it now. Oh, there we go. See the difference. These are very different colors. They're both really good colors, but I tend to favor the black magic more than the black and blue craw. Both are very good though, especially depending on your fishery. Um, any more hard fades? Oh, <laughs> definitely here's one. Movement 80X. This is a, I want to call this a topwater bait, but it, it kind of is because it only dives 0 to 3 feet. And you have to work it pretty hard to get to that 0 or to that 3 feet. But that action on this thing, it just... It's just all over the place, and it's, it's got that big, heavy rattle. This is a loud, obnoxious bait, and this color pattern on this is fantastic because it's that baby bass pattern. This is definitely going to get a lot of use. Not right now. I'm not going to use it, but when we get closer to the spawn and we get into the pre-spawn, this is going to be great for going right in those more slightly more shallow areas just to get a predatory reaction strike out of them because they're not going to want baby bass intruding on their spots this is going to be really really good soon i actually i like the uh, movement 80 and the 70 series both these are great baits <clears throat> all right any more hard baits Okay, no. We're going to save this big one for last. Okay, so we got the sweep. Um, this is a six inch swim bait. Um, the color on this guy is bluegill spawn. This is going to be a pretty good color. I don't have this, actually. Let's crack this open. Oh. One thing I don't like about the sweep is that it's kind of a pain to open. Okay, we're just going to use the knife. Check that open. So this you're going to rig with a 7 or 8 aught um, weighted hook. I like to throw it. Oh, there we go. I like to throw it on a 8 aught the owner 8 aught underspin hook, and it just works out great. And these are they have a lot of a lot of movement to them. They're really good. Um, nice channel on the belly for the hook to go up into or shove whatever else you want in there. If you're a scent guy, you can fill that with scent. Um, the color on this is great. Like, there's got yeah, a nice emerald color on the back there. You got the vertical lines going down into the purples and the pinks. A little bit of orange up there at the front. I like the sweep. I like the sweep quite a bit, and I'm, I'll admit that I don't fish it as much as I would like to, but I'm just, I don't know. I, I got onto a really good spinnerbait and chatterbait bite this summer, and I had a hard time putting anything down for big swim baits, but that's a great option. Okay, let's... Uh, See what this is. Ooh, swing shaker. Okay, so this is a five pot, seven sixteenths ounce. 
screw lock swing shaker. So a CJ head sits like like that when it's rigged. It'll be like that, sit like that. But the nice thing about this is is that weight rotates separately from that hook. So when you're fighting them, you've got a little bit of play in there. Plus, with the screw lock, you can make this thing absolutely, absolutely weedless. 7 16 of an ounce, so it's just under half of an ounce. This is going to be great for getting down there, especially if I put like a crop pattern trailer on here. I'm going to leave this out for a second. <clears throat> in case I do get something really cool to rig up on that for you guys. Oh, missed a hard bait. Uh, Crush 50X, 3 8 ounce, uh, 60 millimeter bait. Dives, 2 to 5 feet. And this color on this, it's Mudgill. I almost called it Fire Tiger. So, you've got a nice black back going to a green side. You've got your vertical slashes down it. You've got a little bit of blue right up there on the front gill plates. We all know the blue gill they're talking about here. Continuing that yellow down into the bottom where you're getting into a bright red belly. This, this is cool. This is really, really cool. And this is a great size. Let's give it a listen. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. That's such a sweet bait. I'd throw this clear water or... Or even, like, dark water, clear water. I just throw this in water. This is one of those baits that I feel you add water. And then you get fish. Um, what is this? Ooh, nice. Okay, so I got a six-cents lanyard. We all know what a lanyard is. And this one... This one's pretty cool. A little camo pattern on it. Nice big buckle on it perfect for boat keys or for your car keys or your id or whatever i like that a lot it's pretty cool set that over here okay this is the sun mask this is texas mask color uh where's the opening You ever have those moments where you feel like you're getting old, but you're not really getting old, they're just making things harder to get into? This is one of those things. So it's a nice sun mask. Throw it up over your face, protect your neck from the sun. I really like sun masks. Um, also what I'll do if I have like a cooler or something with me, or when I'm driving to the lake, uh, I'll take it and I'll put it like over my AC vents or I'll put it like in my cooler for a little bit and I can put it back on and it keeps me cooler and protects my neck from the sun and my face. I like sun masks. Even, even if you think it's kind of stupid, it's, it's better to protect yourself from the sun than to just get burnt all the time. That's, that's a big, huge thing. And I'm, pretty happy that a lot of companies are making good materials like this that are UV resistant and block UV rays to protect us while we're out there fishing. <coughs> All right, what do we got here? Ooh, we got the flush, an exclusive color. Okay, let's check this out. This is an exclusive color that I got, and this exclusive color is wicked. So it's got kind of a bluish purple back going down into a greenish pearl body and it's got heavy blue flakes in it this this is sweet this is their weightless jerk bait this is their yes their weightless jerk bait this is a fantastic color i'm that's going with me tomorrow because i'm going to throw that on a donkey rig tomorrow and it's going to be fun and i'm going to have a lot of fun Okay. Ooh, we got something in our Yes. So we got the Six Sense Prong 4.2 and Bluegrass Magic. 
get this opened up here. Take the shell out. As soon as I felt the, the lumpiness from it, I knew it was a crop aid. Let's get one of these guys out. Split the legs apart here. This color is pretty cool. So it's like a green pumpkin with blue pearl. Blue, there's the blue pearl. There's the green pumpkin. Uh, not, lots of nice heavy flake. Bright blue flakes. And let's go ahead and throw this on this jig, or this, uh, this one. Swing shaker. Wow. Oh, let's see if I can get it started. So this is pretty cool how this works. So you just get, the hardest part is getting it started. And then you just turn it on. Just crank it all the way down. I like to go all the way down to where it meets. I like to have as much of the bait in there as I possibly can. And we're going to spin this so it's blue side down because that's aesthetically pleasing to me. And I know somebody in the comments is going to be like, well, it doesn't matter what you think. It matters what the fish think. Well, the fish aren't here. This is my video. Okay. There we go. Straight through like that. Text pose that. And bam. There you go. Nice subtle little bait. I know we're prime time into tube season right now. I wonder if I got croob. That'd be pretty sweet. There you go. All hooked up. Looks just like that. Super simple. Super clean. You're not feeding the whole bait on there. You're not... There's no way... Like, this, this is great. This is brilliant. Whoever came up with this screw lock idea, kudos, my guy. All right, let's throw these in there. I'm going to fish that tomorrow. I'm going to fish a lot of stuff tomorrow because I haven't been at it in a while, and there's finally no ice on the lake, so we're going to just go for it. All right, we got the glitch. 3.8. This is another exclusive color. <clears throat> oh, come on. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So it's got a kind of like a gray-green back to it. Kind of like a, like a, I want to say a smelt. I feel like that's wrong, but I also feel like that's very right. This is a great drop shot bait. I also like throwing the glitch on like a hover rig. It just works pretty well. Um, it's got a nice white belly. This is a great color. Why isn't this production? Like, let's see if I can get it close enough so you guys can see it. There's that off color back, that pearl belly, that little that floaty bit on the tail. It's just a great little bait. I really like the glitch. This should have been our production color. I really, really like this. Oh, get back in there. Definitely drop shot, wacky rig, just weightless or hover rig. Really like the glitch on that. Are we to our last thing? We are. Okay. Da -da -da. Trace. Session. Good job. Um, yeah, six inch trace, slow sinking. Perfect. Perfect. The color on this is bluegill spawn, and I do not have this trace, and that makes me very happy. This is what is this? I think this is five ounces, something like that. Why do I not remember what the weight is on this guy? Oh, 1.65 ounces. <clears throat> Super awesome swim bait. This bluegill spawn color, you've got that super deep emerald color on the back, continuing down the sides, which I believe is the same color as our sweep. Nice jointed swim bait. These fish so well. I really do like the trace. Um, I like to take them down grass lines, okay, or along the ends of docks, and 
I'll just fish them for a little bit and then I'll stop and I'll let that slow sink sink a little bit and I'll just pop my rod a little bit and this thing just whoop, turns right around and drops and that that's how you get a nice reaction strike. I also love fishing it down uh, grass lines. Same way too. You just get to a point that looks like it's cut in a little bit or like on a grass line where you feel like there's something there. Maybe like um, a log or rocks or something like that. Pop it right there. So much good luck. And this is a great color. I'm really happy I got this. I was going to buy trace a trace and a draw on Black Friday. But I was like, oh, I'm getting the garage sale sack. And last year, they had the draw in there. No trace, though. It's got a little bit, a little bit of a rattle to it. But I really like the trace. Six-inch trace, the five-inch trace, I like both traces. That's fantastic. And that's it. That's the whole sack, guys. And I'm, you know, I'm not upset in the slightest bit um plenty of hard baits even even if you were a guy that was just getting into fishing and you wanted something something that covered all the bases now necessarily if you're just getting into it you're not going to have a swim bait rod that's going to be able to throw the trace or the sweep but if you have like access to like a 7.4 heavy rod you could probably, you could definitely throw the sweep. You might be able to throw the trace, depending on what the rod's weighted for. Um, pretty much, basically, all the rest of this can all be fished on essentially one rod. A medium heavy, it wouldn't be ideal for a lot of this. A medium heavy, moderate, and like a 7.2, you'd pretty much be able to fish everything in the sack fairly easily. Um, obviously, that wouldn't be able to throw the glitch. Yeah, you might be able to if you're, like, power shotting. But they did good. Everything in here I'm super happy with. I think I think there's only only two of these baits do I actually already have in these colors, which would be these two. I know for a fact I already have both of these. But that's, that's to be expected, and I'm pretty sure... I know I bought, the, I'm, yeah, I bought this one on my own, and then I got one in a sack. This one I got a very long time ago in a six sack. But I've also been a subscriber to a six sack for two years now. It's been two years. So, yeah. That's it, guys. That's, that's the show. That is the 2023 um, garage sale sack. Um, what you guys get in here is going to be different, possibly. Um, I would expect the same, like, like value. Because I, I paid, I think, 80 bucks for this. This is way more than $80 worth of baits. Plus, I got two exclusive colors. I mean, that's 25 bucks on its own, okay? This, I know, is 13 bucks. It adds up so quickly. Um, yeah, but that's the show. And it's wintertime. Guys, just be careful out there. I'm going out tomorrow. Um, going to a small pond, small er pond. Um, I'm taking the kayak out. Hopefully I don't have hard water issues. I mean, I think it's supposed to be like 28 tomorrow morning. So I'm going to be dressing for the situation and I'm going to stay very mindful of the water um, just remember if your water temp and your air temp are less than a hundred there's there's a very very good chance that you're gonna skip being cold in the water go straight to shock and then hypothermia be so careful out there guys mind the weather and happy holidays take care